team happy thursday uh in the 13th week of ordinary time short reflection on these readings go i think that what i most get out of today's readings i mean this is a biggie right abraham and the sacrifice of his son um that's important there's a that's a big leaping off point for all of humanity right and what's cool about that is to realize that you and I are part of it it's a living story and it continues today so um, I think for me really I like to think about the invitation of being part of the mystical body of Christ in these and in fact that can be quite a difficult thing because I spend most of my life trying to be different from everyone else I have a hard time being assimilated in a group. I guess it's part of my good old girl Texas independent spirit of just like, yeah, um, I don't need anybody's help. I don't need no man. Um, You guys are like Aggies versus Longhorns or like, you know, I'm a cool Catholic. I'm not other, like other Catholics. I don't know. There's always been, for me, a real value on autonomy and my individuality and an ability to separate myself from other people. And I suppose in many instances, this is applicable in a general way and then also just in small parts of our lives, right? We, we are quick to, you know, in good and not so good ways, identify ourselves by defining how we are different than other people Uh, and in these readings really we can celebrate being part of the mystical body of Christ and everyone being part of that mystical body of Christ Um, and that what we do as individuals does matter so there is space for our individuality and that it is meant to serve others so abraham here he is homie gonna give up his son it's a crazy nuts thing that god is asking of him but because of his trust he does it and that blessing has enriched your life my life the life of the world um it trickles down right it's it's in our dna as human beings this act from abraham uh and then even in a bigger way we see it with Christ in the Gospels when he not only forgives sin but also makes the paralytic walk and why that's really cool is because God is the mystical body's head and um, when he does something he opens a channel and a passageway for us to enter into that same grace he is not a separatist (laughs) he He is a come one, come all. We are part of the mystical body of Christ. So when he does things, then it's part of our reality. It's part of our genetic makeup. It's part of our history. It's part of our souls and our hearts and our homes. And he did these incredible things. One really beautiful thing that he did in healing that paralytic is he taught and showed humanity the the importance of a realm that we can't quite see and understand, right? So it's very hard to connect with and visualize the stain of sin on a soul, right? We can like see, oh yeah, okay, that guy can't walk and now he can walk. That makes sense. That has a physical reality to us. But when you go to confession and you walk out, you don't have like a physical, there's not like a shiny light that starts glowing or something like that. So it's it's a hard thing for us to really understand in all the ways that we are human. And he links these things to show us and tell us that there are things much more important than the obvious. And that's so important Because if we didn't have those flags to kind of show us, then we would all be money hungry or doing things that make sense, right? It makes more sense to me if you're stressed out about your finances to work long hours at work over taking an hour for adoration. And yet, adoration, you know, that's usually the way to go. Spend time with God as he calls and requests. Or, you know, like Abraham, 
it makes no sense to go and kill your son. But if the spirit is calling and you um, set it all up, like the blessings flow. So it's really this this confirmation <laughs> that we should trust and follow the spirit because there are things beyond our understanding that are important. And it doesn't matter that we know what they are, but it, what is important is that we trust God. And because Abraham did it and he is part of our mystical body, and because Jesus did it and he's the head of our mystical body, we too are enabled and capable of the same thing. And we can rely on each other in that sense, not as separatists, but in unit to really draw the faith and courage it takes to do these absurd and crazy things. That is walking in the light of Christ. So I encourage you to look to your brothers and sisters in all forms and to um, walk together with them, with me, walk with me. I, I need it. Um, so that we can really do what makes sense um, and participate in God's plan, which is beyond all understanding in faith and trust of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a great day.